we'll do something before the sun goes down. Are you excited to eat it? Yes. I'm dressed for the beach. What beverage is that? It's uh, Johnny Walker and water. Uh, good afternoon. It's about three in the afternoon. Spent all day in the hotel room. I was up pretty late last night. Uh, stomach problems and I had a fever for a little bit shaking. I got to bed pretty late after the live stream. We have maybe three hours of sunlight left. So we're gonna go out. I think we're gonna go out and hit the beach. I'm not sure. I'll show you guys what it looks like at 3.30 in the afternoon off my uh, hotel balcony. It's pretty nice. My girlfriend's getting dressed, getting ready. We're gonna hop on our bikes. We're gonna head on out, go down to the lower southern end where the temple is and see if we can see that and how big of a stretch it would be to actually walk across the, the water to get to the temple. Not quite sure what we're planning yet, but we'll do something before the sun goes down. Tonight we'll probably go have some ice cream or something, I'm not sure. This is our second full day in Lung Tao. This is the kind of place where you want to come and spend quite a bit of time, not only two or three days, it seems like five or six days would be appropriate. So nice here, it's relaxing. So nice just to sit in the hotel room all day. Played a little Magic the Gathering and took a nap. It's been a pretty good day, that's fun. Hotel room's a little bit of a mess. Got my laptop there closed. We're gonna head on out of here, find something to do. How was your day thus far? What did you do all day? Waited. Waited? It's not a bad spot to wait. I enjoyed lounging in my hotel room all day. Playing games and checking on the socials. Get the bikes and head south. At this point we went and recorded the Moto vlog which took us deep into a neighborhood that was very interesting. After that we decided we would go down to the peninsula and of course I experienced sound problems once again. But we had a nice exploration, took a lot of photos, and after that we decided to go down to the beach. And it was at this point that I took my first swim while in Vung Tao in the South China Sea. And my girlfriend stayed on the beach with the camera and she also recorded some interesting sights, such as the fishermen bringing in a catch and some kids imprisoning a sea creature in a hole that they had dug. The beach was actually very clean and it was my first time ever swimming in salt water. I got a lot of it in my eyes and in my mouth. It kind of reminded me of the sensation of when you're sick and your mom makes that concoction for you that you have to gargle with the salt. One added benefit of swimming in salt water is your body becomes quite buoyant, so it's very easy to lay on your back and just float. The beach was a great time and I really enjoyed myself. I only wish that he and Walt would have come out and enjoyed the swim with me. Walt did go swimming with me later that night, but that'll be coming later. But alas, they did not. So it was time to pack up our stuff, shake the sand from my clothing, put it back on, and go find us some dinner. So right where we started on the first night, here is where we'll have dinner on the last night here, the same Bung Ba. Is that how you say that? Bung Ba Hui. Bung Ba Hui. Yeah. So we're gonna have the same meal that we did on our first night. So it's the same little place. I haven't eaten all day. So what you will wanna... I'll just get some at the Circle K. Um, Bag of chips and a Vienna sausage. Circle K actually has good food. You can get some of their fried chicken. Smell garlic really strong. Uh, uh, so after we eat, we go back to hotel. We we'll go somewhere. I'd like to go ho hotel and get out of these wet pants because I have dirt and stuff inside and my shoes. And then we are, okay. yeah, I gotta get the lotion off my, my pants and shoes are just absolutely soaking, covered in dirt. I wanna try a uh, fish bun, beef bun in Bung Tao because fish bun here very fresh. It's like the balls that we had on the um, on the river in Saigon. Yeah, but the, here I'm sure it's very good more than uh, Saigon. I want to go to the ice cream place. Uh, Will you see all the ice creams on the right hand uh, side? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The ice cream, I saw people would sell fish on the down there. Okay, yeah. we'll get ice cream and do that too. That sounds good.
What is bun ba? What is it? Noodle, rice noodle and beef. Rice noodles, kind of like pho. Rice noodle, yeah, like pho. Like pho. And beef. Beef and what kind of vegetables are those? Like roots, roots. Root, yeah. Some other greens. It's a very common dish here in Vietnam. Also onion. And onions. Yeah. And she likes to put. Uh, what's the brown sauce called? Mm, uh, from uh, black bean. Oh, yeah, that's right. Black bean sauce and then chili sauce yeah, and, and garlic. garlic. Yeah. One of those things I was mentioning on my motor vlog is I take for granted that a lot of you folks don't know what this stuff is that we're eating, so I started explaining a little bit. It's a pretty common dish in Vietnam. And they say, I heard somebody say once not to, to go to these kind of places to eat, but as you can see, there's like a lot of people right here. So usually if you see a lot of people, like I discussed earlier, it's usually a safe place to eat. So we're done eating here. We're just gonna go drive around. She's got a bit of a headache, so we're gonna go find a pharmacy for her. We sat and kicked it here for quite a while. And now we're just gonna drive around. You're gonna do what? As in sky, I feel one more minute. Gotcha. So we're gonna drive into town with no real destination in sight. Walter took off. He's kind of depressed today. One of our good friends died yesterday. So it's got him in bad spirits, which I can understand. I think he went back to the hotel room. We'll get there eventually because I got to change out of these dirty clothes. I'm covered in sand. She needed to go to the pharmacy to get some pills for her headache. And I left the camera rolling. I'm not sure why, but I did. So here's some scenes of Bung Tao at night. As you can see, it's very lively. It's very colorful. Not as colorful as Saigon. It was a pleasure to drive around as we shopped about from pharmacy to pharmacy because she needs a specific brand that agrees with her. After a couple stops, we ended up finding the exact brand that she wanted. I don't know what it is about riding a motorbike in Vietnam that I like so much. She's still in there. It's our second pharma city. And she's in there looking for her headache medicine. There's only one kind that she likes. Make sure she gets the perfect brand. Because nothing else works. Unless it's exactly what she wants. Despite being very wet and sandy, so it feels very nice out here. Did you get the one that you wanted? Very cheap. Seven. Seven thousand for all of those? How many do you have for seven thousand? Twelve for seven thousand? Wow. Yeah, yeah. That is very cheap. Alright, let's roll along. After obtaining the required medication, we took the long route, looping along the coast, and we eventually made it back around to our hotel. Now that we got all the sand washed from my body, my girlfriend washed her face, she's got her dress on. Now we're gonna head out for ice cream, it's about 8 p.m. Correction, about 8.44 p.m. We're gonna have some ice cream. And Walter expressed some interest about going down to the beach right outside our hotel room. I'll show you guys through the balcony. You see a lot of people down there sometimes. You guys won't be able to see because it's so dark, but we could find a way to get down there dip our feet in the water. So, off to get the ice cream we go. Cafe Kim Royale. What kind of ice cream is that? Vanilla ice cream. Vanilla ice cream? Yeah. Are you excited to eat it? Yes. Yes? Yeah. Okay, I believe you. And I got Cafe Kim, which is coffee ice cream. Looks like it's just a vanilla and chocolate squirrel over a Cafe Sua. Place is right on the board rock, right next to the ocean. And after tasting it, it's not actual ice cream, it's a soft serve yogurt. That's still good, it's very good. And that is a very strong coffee for me. And this is Heen taking selfies. Go ahead. A YouTuber can't have a camera shy girlfriend. Now we're gonna head back to the hotel and walk on down to the beach. I found a nice little stairway right outside the hotel driveway where we can walk down to the water. I was always wondering how the people got down there. Now I know, it's very easy. So let's go. How much did it cost? South behind. 62? Not bad. Very cheap for ice cream, coffee, and some tea. So now we're 
leaving the hotel room. I'm dressed for the beach. Got a refreshing beverage and my uh, bathroom cup. What beverage is that? It's uh, Johnny Walker and water. Johnny Walker with scotch and water. Is that scotch, what it's called? Scotch and water. Scotch and water. And we found this little spot right down straight ahead. I know it's dark, guys, but it's nighttime. What do you expect? I know what time it is, about 9, 30, 10 o'clock. Let's check my watch. It is 10 o'clock exactly. We found this little stairwell. At least I think it's stairs. It might be flat, a flat ramp. I kind of checked out a little bit on my bike. But it's a good way to get to the beach right across the street from our hotel. There's our hotel. I wonder if I should do a review video. This has been a really nice place. Dude, I've enjoyed everything about it so far. Dude, I don't think you should step there. I'm not stepping there. Don't step there, because that looks like wet mud. It looks like cement that no, somebody that's just the poured. concrete, yeah. Somebody already stepped in it. Yeah, the tide's already coming up, though. So it's really dark, guys. I know it's hard for you guys to see, but we're right here on the ocean, and it is pitch black. You can see Walt a little bit now. Yeah, it's hard to see the tides. We got double flashlights from our phones going on here, but... Whoa, that was bright. Can you shine it down towards the ground? Ah, so I can kind of see the ground a little bit now. So yeah, can you walk out here a little bit? Yeah, the tide is on its way up. This is the first time my feet have touched the China Sea. South China Sea. South China Sea. The water's not cold at all. No, it's warm. Yeah, guys, so there's really not much lighting out here. So I'm gonna kill the camera. We're gonna drink our Johnny Walker with water, enjoy the sounds of the ocean, and just kick back. That is gonna conclude the trip to Vung Tao. Vung Tao was absolutely amazing. We had a lot of fun. The hotel was super nice. The staff was friendly. We got to experience a very unique pizza with egg on it, which is absolutely delicious. We got to climb the Christ Redeemer statue and see an amazing view of Vung Tao over the city. We got to walk out to the peninsula and take a lot of selfies. We went to the beach and I went swimming. We took Walt to an authentic Vietnamese seafood restaurant where the food was absolutely delicious. I got to spend some quality time with my girlfriend Hien by eating some ice cream. We did a lot of driving around, we did a lot of kicking back. We just enjoyed the vibe and the atmosphere of the small ocean town just south of Ho Chi Minh City. But alas, we were out of time and we had to go back to Saigon to pick up our friend Dees and go on some more adventures. All right, last morning here, about 10.30 in the morning, and we're getting ready to check out. Then we're gonna hop on the road, okay, go check the ferry schedule, and get on out of here. Go back to Saigon so we can pick up Dees. Hope you guys enjoyed our trip to Mung Tao. You guys are awesome for watching my videos, and I appreciate it. Uh, smash that like button if you liked it. If you disliked it, smash that dislike. Either way, leave a comment, tell me why. You guys are awesome. Hope you see so that's it guys, we're leaving the hotel now. And we're gonna take the same process on the way back as we, as we did on the way here. So we're going back to Saigon now. Mm -hmm.